line. Live from Maple Mountain High School, Spanish Fork Channel 17 proudly brings you this coverage of today's 5A League A volleyball matchup between the Spanish Fork Dons and the Maple Mountain Golden Eagles. Hi everybody, I'm Jake Arscott alongside with me Caleb Lemming here for our coverage of today's rivalry matchup between Spanish Fork and Maple Mountain. Two teams who are looking for a win and, and for two different reasons. Uh, first, we could start off with Maple Mountain, who is currently sitting second in the standings, third in 5A, a team that is, you know, a team of destiny. They believe in themselves this year after a couple of rough seasons. They feel they have the pieces to really get things going, and, and so far they've been off to a great start. That's right. They are confident heading into this season and this game specifically. They are most excited for this game on their schedule. Rivalry game, a team that's going to give them good competition in Spanish Fork. They are ready and prepared, looking to go 4-0 in region thus far. Yeah, and last week we had them, of course, in our game of the week against Provo. They looked great. They went in straight sets, but... Coach Amanda Peterson not satisfied with, uh, you know, their team's results and their team's play, especially. Yeah, she said she loved their defense, but their offense needs to get going a little more. She wants to play faster, harder, and looks for specifically more aces and kills out of their line. And, of course, this is a big-time game against the Trostown opponent, uh, a game that, uh, as you mentioned earlier, um, you know, in the pregame notes, that a team that hasn't played in a while, you know, this matchup hasn't really happened in, and uh, we've noticed a change, you know, in the, in the environment here already with the fans. They've really come out. And it's a very exciting and uh, energetic atmosphere for sure here at Maple Mountain. Uh, on the other hand, we talked about Spanish Fork, the team that also, you know, needs to get on track for other reasons, of course, sitting 2-8 and eight right now overall. Of course, conference is more important when it comes to the playoffs, conference record. Sitting 2-8 and eight in a loss here, we're putting a 2-2 two two in conference play and drop them back potentially. Yeah, this is the biggest game of the season so far for Spanish Fork. Obviously, it's early. As you mentioned, 2-8 and eight overall, 2-1 and one in region. So we see this as a prove-it game. Hardest, hardest team they're going to face this year, they want to know if they're really in to potentially challenge for the region or if they're going to fall back and lose a spot here yeah, today. They, they've been impressive at times. They've beaten Wasatch. However, they have lost They lost their last game to Park City 3-1. And then, of course, you know, had a hard time in non-conference play. So it'll be interesting to see how they come up against a really talented Maple Mountain squad. Uh, who are a couple of players, you know, to watch out for in today's game for uh, starting with Maple Mountain? Well, for them, I talked to Coach uh, Peterson earlier, and she said Kaylee Monahan, their senior hitter, looks good this uh, this afternoon. They had a mini practice, if you will, and she said she is, quote, she's on and ready to go. She looks great in the opener. Yeah, and, and definitely, and it's a loaded squad as well. You know, you could bring up Monahan. Uh, of course, last game's game of the week, we, we mentioned a couple of names in particular. Alice Call and Amaya Trinery is uh, two players who really stood out in uh, respective sets, you know, taking over for the team in their play. On the Spanish Fork side, of course, you know, it's a team that's young, a team that's looking for improvement. Uh, a couple players, you know, of course, is Malini Robard, uh, currently leading the team in aces with 13, and then Trinity Benson, who is their main player, the junior 5'10", 67 kills so far on the year for the Dogs. Yeah, she's just a junior 5'10". She, as you mentioned, leads the team in kills by almost double. So she is the offensive force for the Dons tonight. A hard attempted kill there. A lot of hard hit balls in this first set. Mm -hmm. Maya Trenery there, that one recovered at. At the netting, three hits, it goes off. Don somehow get it out of play. Maple Mountain comes right back. Hansen gets stuck at the line. And the whistle gets blown, inadvertent whistle. And it looks like the Don's touched the netting. They're saying Jaden Reed touched it. I should say that's Trinity Benson number five. They called it on. They're going to have a word about this. Yeah, the Dons look confused there. They looked like they didn't think they touched it, nor did they not really know who touched it. But they're going to award the point to Maple Mountain regardless. They're saying that Benson touched her shoulder on the netting. So the Golden Eagles get the point here. 15-12, Swindlehurst. Ikatao with a weird return there. She's kind of holding her arm. Play continues here. Hit by Monaghan. That one saved. Robars gets it, bumped over by Charlton. Again, it's Trenery, this time off the arms of the Dons and falls in. Good point there for Maple Mountain, they go up four. One thing that we mentioned last game we were with Maple Mountain was their depth. We see Trenery right there, we've seen Ayoane, we've seen Monahan with some kills. They are deep and they've got a strong bench. 
Swindlehurst again, not enough power on that one. Couple service errors here on the set for the Golden Eagles. Nikita will come off here. She was holding her arm. She seems to be fine though, no problems there. Charlton back to serve. That one right at the netting, a last second hit by Bailey wasn't enough. Johns get another point here. So they're staying within reach here in this first set. That looks like an awkward uh, return, return serve. Hit just the bottom of the net, enough to stay alive, but not enough to hit it over. Point goes to Spanish Fork, 16-14 now. Charlton, until this game, has had 10 aces. Golden Eagles return, Trenery gets stuck. That one goes out of bounds, though. They get the break. And they'll get a substitution as well. In comes Rothig for Haley Monaghan. And that's exactly what that was, a break. Looks like Spanish Fork beat them off the block, had enough to earn the point, but just hit it just far out. Dons have played well at the net so far. Oh, bumped up. Robars gets hit. That one hit over. Golden Eagles quick tip by Bailey, smart play by Bailey, and a point by Bailey for the Golden Eagles. That might be the play of the game so far, given the 18-14 lead. Smart tips it right over. It looked like she was about to fake the out and go for the pass, but nope, tips it right over for a point. Rothag comes in. Call hits it over, that one just goes right over the netting. Good play there by the Dons. Trinity Benson, I should say, apologies. 18-15 now, Maple Mountain leading. Again, Lamerick, Lamenic comes in. She'll serve here. Right-hander throws it up, Swindlehurst bumps it. Trenery will try again, that one will work. Nobody home on the right side. That's Trenery again, tied for first in kills on Maple Mountain, and she has seen it tonight. That's three, maybe even four kills already for her. You know, I'm talking to a couple of people, fans of the team, you know, they pointed out that Trenery had one of her best games, and along with Alice Call as well, really stood out last week against Provo. Hit that last second there by Robarge. Inoue, Ioane, I should say, that one goes off the netting. Point to the Dons. The Dons are just barely keeping alive here, down three, 19-16. They've done a good job of capitalizing on mistakes early in the first set. If they can win this first set, that would be huge for the Dons. They're down three, though. That one falls right inside the back line. They rule the point, though, to the Dons. That's a surprise. That looked in to me. That looked like it was going to be a Maple Mountain point. Even the scoreboard operator, operator put it for Maple Mountain. But the officials, who obviously have the final say, go with the Dons. We saw a couple of calls in the earlier game, the JV matchup, that kind of stopped people. Another big time block there by Robard and Reed, converging on the play. A little momentum shift. Only down one now, huge block from Robard. We've seen a multiple, multiple blocks for her tonight. Benson to serve. Blows this one over, recovered by Rothog. Picked up by Bailey, hit at by Ioane. Spanish Fork sets it up. That one hit at at the net. Just falls right onto the side. Good block there by Ioane. It looks like she wants the ball tonight. She's attempted three straight kills, gets the block there. It looks like she wants to be the player of the game tonight. Good action there, and that's gonna be a fun matchup to watch Ioane against Robars there on that front line. Nikitao gets it, set up behind, hit for by Mansfield. Dons will try again, Rovarge will throw it over. Hansen here, powerful serve, it hit off a defender it looked like, and they do say it was deflected. And they're saying it hit, I think it was Ikatao in the back line. 21-18 now, a powerful kill. And Valerie Benson's gonna wanna call a timeout here. Down three, 21-18. Good run here by Maple Mountain. And we will take a quick break here. Again, our sponsors here, we'd like to thank our sponsors, the car guys at the Blue Diamond Auto Group, Lance Wilson State Farm, MVP Sports, Triple T Heating, Cooling, and Plumbing, Two Jacks Pizza, the Attorneys of the Law, Mikkel Thompson and Hunter, and the Driggs Mortgage Team. The Golden Eagles have the serve here, and it'll be Naomi Mehmet to hit this one in. 
Paul sets it up. That's a low set. Somehow, Reed gets to it. Allen floats over the back line. Van Fork will get the point here to pull within two. Great dig by number 15, Abigail Hansen. Unfortunately, just hit too hard on the attempted kill, and point goes to Spanish Fork. Gons doing a good job here holding in on the first set. Again, they did beat Was Wasatch earlier on in conference play, a good team. Hansen here, a soft tip. Three players converge for the Dons. Saved that by Lomeric, that one hit over. Golden Eagles do it again, another smart tip there by Bailey. Robarge hits it in the back corner and it goes in. Good play there, good accuracy by Robarge on this spike. She put that in the one spot that nobody could hit it, right in the back left corner. Hard, powerful swing leads to a point, now only down one, Ikatao set to serve. Back line there, picked up by Trenery. Bailey sets it up, Trenery will get it again on the callback. Nobody around for the Dons. Good play by Ikatao to float it over there and recover. Golden Eagles again. Ioane off two defenders and a point for the Eagles. Crowd likes that one. She is everywhere tonight. She has all the blocks, all the kills. She is just a ball hawk tonight, Jaysha Ioane. Dons down two. In the service, Bailey. Fans on their feet here. Charlton met at the line. They'll try again. This time, it's Manfield, and she gets denied as well. Using their height advantage is key. We saw it two blocks in a row. Spanish Fork capitalized on the first. Couldn't on the second. Student section really getting into this right now. Monahan and Hanson again. Big time play on the front line. Good serve there by Bailey. Ikatao sets it up here. Thrown over by Mansfield. That one just floats helplessly out of line. One point away from the first set going to Maple Mountain. Spanish Fork looks like they may have fallen apart just a little bit in those last few points. They had it within one, now a four-point game. Bailey so far has been excellent serving the ball. Right to Ikatao. Dons need a point here. That one tipped out by Charlton. That one's not going to get over as well. So they do get the needed point here. They need a run down three. Looks like it'll be Molina Robarge on the set. Substitution now for Spanish Fork as number 11, Hayden McMillan, comes in for number eight, Stacey Lominick. We should apologize. That's uh, Kelsey Toplin there, number eight. Uh, two number eights on the roster. We apologize, Kelsey. That one goes over the line. Don get another point there. On the bright side, Kelsey, if you're listening, you've been playing really well. We've said number eight a lot. So there you go. She's watching film, she's studying, she's doing what she needs to do, I guess. Dons need to get a couple points here themselves. They have some homework. Good recovery there by Bailey. Hit out by Monahan. Somehow saved that point. Set up by Robars here. Thrown out by Mansfield. Another deflection, another point for the Dons. You said they needed a run and they're getting it. 24-23 as they get that point off the block. And then Robards still serving. One point away from the tie break here. An excellent run by the Dons to recover in this first set. One thing you can say about Spanish Fork, they are gritty. They do make errors though, and that point costs them there. 25-23, the final in the first set. It was an eventful and competitive first set. Two points deciding it with Spanish Fork making an attempted comeback at the end. Down four, cut it to a two-point lead. Melanie Robarge back to serve. Gritty matchup by, a uh, gritty set, I should say, by Spanish Fork indeed, and, and they played hard. Robarge with the serve. And a quick point early from number 14, Caitlin Bailey, the captain of this team. 1-0 lead and she'll go back to serve as well. Substitution now as we see Kaylee Monahan coming in for M Mandy Rothog from Maple Mountain. Gets it over the net, dug out, passed by Robarge. Free ball opportunity now for Maple Mountain. Monahan with the hit, off the block, off the face. Off the face of Caitlin Bailey leads to a point for Spanish Fork. That yeah. looked like it might have hurt. A facial there for Maple Mountain. A powerful spike there. I believe that was Robarge again. Another powerful one.
Spanish Fork now with the serve. Here's the pass. Ione with the attempted kill. And she'll get it with an attempted dig by Ikatao. Goes way out of bounds. 2-1 now. As we'll say, Ione. Yeah, that one too much sauce on it for Ikatao. Just had to get both hands on it. Only stuck out the right. Flex and goes off the back line. She's been hitting her kills hard tonight. Service error, though, for Aone right now, and will be 2-2. Two -two. The Spanish Fork will go back to serve. Yeah, I think if one thing you could point out for Maple Mountain that they need to improve at, it definitely is that service game on offense, being able to, you know, limit the mistakes and the errors, hitting the nets. you got to get clearance on those serves. That's one thing that Coach Peterson mentioned to me was the offensive performance. With the block there from number 14, Caitlin Bailey, another block already. And certainly the defense is there for the Golden Eagles. It, it has been in full effect here in this game. We'll see number six, Cammie Swindlehurst, back to serve for Maple Mountain and the Golden Eagles. Gets it over the net, dug out by Ikatao. Robards with the pass. The block by Maple Mountain. And we'll say Aione with the attempted block. Again with the kill. Just goes out of bounds. A point tied up at three now for Spanish Fork. Aione wants the ball. She's been hitting hard. Unfortunately, that one was just too far out of bounds. We'll see number eight now, Kelsey Topham, the ace leader for the Dons now back to serve. Topham, good serve there. Monahan with the with the kill. Right in bounds. Excited now for Maple Mountain, the Golden Eagle. She snuck that right where it needed to be. Bench passionate about that one. That was just perfect placement, like you said. Gets up for it, you know, great play. This front line is just intimidating for Maple Mountain, and they've really just grown into their roles over the years. Monahan though with the service error. I believe that's three now in this set alone. Ties it at four. Yeah, you know that once play gets intense, once playoffs come around, you can't be making those service errors. Of course, it's early in the season. It's time, you know, and, and, and Maple Mountain's talented enough that they can overcome it now, but when they're playing more difficult teams come playoff time, they're going to have to try and work on that service game. Number nine, Jaysha Aone. How many times have we said her name tonight? Gets the point off the block, 5-4. She was the player to watch in this game, as you mentioned. In practice, she seemed to be in a groove, seemed to be standing out with her energy, with her performance. It's carried over in this game. Energy is right. She has all the passion the Golden Eagles need right now. Off the block, dug out by Swindlehorse. Aione with another kill, dug out by Igatao. And Spanish Fork attempted kill goes way out of bounds. Now a 6-4 six, four, six, four lead for the Golden Eagles. Aione back again to serve. Good rally there, unfortunately just went too far out again for the Dons. And Aione with the first ace for herself, 7-4 lead now. Attempted dig by, Ma uh, by Spanish Fork, excuse me, just could not get it. We'll see that ace. Yeah, I believe that is Amaya Trinery there, number nine actually. Oh, excuse me. Is, uh, you know, she's been a powerful player so far over the last couple of games for this team, and she is whipping it in. Another service error, though. Just the ratio, one-to-one, -one, it seems. You know, every serve they get, every every ace that they can uh, muster, they throw one into the netting as well. 7-5 now. That's the fourth service error of the game, of the set, excuse me. Dug out. Here's the pass. Now it's Aione with another one off the net. And a point, another kill for Jaysha Aione. Yeah, you couldn't have played it any better. Just hitting it right off the top of the netting, it just gives that little reverb, a little bounce over the front line, just digs right into that middle area, that pocket. Perfect play there, perfect power as well from Eight, Iwane. Eight five now, three point lead for the Golden Eagles. Here's a serve over the net, dug out. Here's the pass. And the kill, the attempted kill goes out of bounds. Spanish Fork thinks it went off the block and it was tipped. Yeah, Charlton didn't agree with the call there and the rest aren't going to budge on it. We'll see Naomi Mehmet again back to serve. Over the net, dug out. Pass. Robards with the, with the hit. Great attempt to dig by 
Maple Mountain, the Golden Eagles, unfortunately could not get that sprinting as fast as she could, but ultimately Robarge will get the point, 9-6 you know, now. You know, a thing that we pointed out in the season opener for Spanish Fork was that Robarge has that left hand that kind of throws people off. You know, normally right-handed players uh, dominate this league. And then in she comes with a powerful left. Can be deceiving. If they're going to want to win, they're going to have to play to that advantage of the left hand. Maple yeah. Mountain now with the point. Exactly. They're also going to have to get it over that tall front line of Maple Mountain. In the two games we've called for the Golden Eagles, height has been the key, and they have used it to their advantage. We'll see for the Golden Eagles, number 14, Caitlin Bailey, the senior, back to serve. Gets it over the net. It gets out with the dig. Robards with the pass. Dug out by Spanish by Maple Mountain. And blocked. Oh, I'm going to Maple Mountain. Now. However, out of bounds it looked like. Yeah, the deflection it looked like went off Spanish fork. Just falling out of bounds. Player that we brought up earlier in the game to watch, Jet Lee Ioane now in for the first time as well, two in the back. And another service error from 14, Bailey. Smart play there by uh, Trinity Benson, number five for the Dons, just letting that one go over. She played it as if it was going to stay in, then when she recognized it, let it go. Kelsey Mansfield now back to serve. 11-7, gets it over. Swindlehurst. Monahan with the hit. And with the kill. Attempted to a dig out by Mansfield there, unable to handle it. 12-7 now. Another kill for Monahan. They are yeah, deep. They are deep. They are a talented roster. And, and you can tell, obviously, by the record, 9-2 is currently. You know, they're challenging with the top dogs this year. This isn't something that Maple Mountain's been used to. You know, of course, they won Region 8 back in 2016. So that one goes high and out. Another point for Maple Mountain. They're on a roll here. 13-7 now after the ace. Biggest lead of this set. As we will see, number eight, Jaysha Aione, back to serve. Of course, with Maple Mountain, tall expectations for this team, hoping to get far in the playoffs. That one hits off the netting. They are looking for ways to improve here, and this is the perfect opportunity to do so. As we mentioned, this is a good t a Spanish Fork team, typically year in and year out. It's a good program and, and a team that they haven't played in a long time. It's the first time in a while because Spanish Fork just moved into the Region 8 league. And Maple Mountain has moved in with them, and, and now we're seeing these matchups here. And it's a crosstown rivalry. You can feel the excitement here so far throughout this matchup. Coach Peterson mentioned to me that a lot of these girls on both high schools, high school teams, grew up together playing volleyball with and against each other. So a lot of relationships here makes it even more of a rivalry. Excellent block by Spanish Fork of the Dons there. Number nine, Jaden Reed playing that extremely well. Cuts it to a three-point lead, 13-10. Spanish Fork back one of the key players for the Spanish Fork team getting up for that one. And like you said, you can just tell the energy between both of these teams so far in both sets. It's really there. Jump in, dive in for balls, the passion, the voice, the communication is there as well. As Monahan hits it out, an error that cuts it to a two-point lead, 13-11 now. As we'll see number 10, Kennedy Charlton. Back to serve. Timeout, though, from Maple Mountain, the Golden Eagles. And as we go to this timeout, we want to give a big thank you to our sponsors, the car guys at, Blue, at the Blue Diamond Auto Group, Lance Wilson State Farm, MVP Sports, Triple T Heating, Cooling, Plumbing, Two Jacks Pizza, Mikkel Thompson and Hunter, Attorneys at Law, and the Driggs Mortgage Team. Big thank you to our sponsors. Yeah, of course, as always. A couple games to point out here in 5A action. Uh, we have this game, of course, we're broadcasting between Maple Mountain and Spanish Fork. We also have a couple other games going on right now. Park City taking on Payson right now. Park City cer certainly one of the better teams in 5A. Uh, in general, they, they're always a tough beat. Maple Mountain actually defeated them earlier this year in conference play. They're taking on Payson, who's two and seven. Currently on a six game losing streak, struggling there, for sure. Park City also two and one, tied with Spanish Fork for second in the region now, so eyes on that match. Some other games, of course, Springville and Salem Hills playing, and then Wasatch at Provo could be a good game as well. Out of this timeout, Charlton for the Dons, back to serve. Gets it over the net, dug out by Swindlehurst. Here's the pass. 
Dug out by Robards on the other side. Charlton free ball opportunity now. Dug out. Swindlehurst. Dug out again by Spanish Fork. Good rally. Robards with the pass. And we'll see number five, Trinity Benson, attempting to kill it. Looks like it was blocked by the Golden Eagles. Leads to a point, 14-11. Yeah, you know, Benson, their best kill master for the Dons. Just mishit it there. Uh, rare error there by, by Benson. Swindlehurst now. Dug out. Robards with the pass. Dug out by Swindlehurst. Great dive. Tips it over from Monahan. Nikitao digs it out on the other side. Hit. Maple Mountain now. Tips it over. Great dig. Couldn't handle it, though, from the pass from Robars. 15-11 now as Maple Mountain and the Dons get the point. One thing to point out with Maple Mountain in this set that I've really noticed is their movement, their communication has been all over the place. They have bodies flying around to the line, getting in the right places. Spanish Fork right now just all out of sorts right now. Looks like a mental error from number five, Trinity Benson. Just hits it out of bounds, unfortunate, 16-11. You take away the service errors from Maple Mountain and they're playing great volleyball. They are, they've been playing a second set apart from those errors. Spanish Fork coach is just trying to get their players to be a little bit more composed. They get a much needed point here. They get to four points. 16-12 to score Maple Mountain. We'll see a sub for Spanish Fork. Number eight, Kelsey Topham comes in, and she'll go straight away to serve it. Comes in for number 11, Hayden McMillan. 16-12 now. Topham with the serve. Just over the net, and an ace for Kelsey Topham, the ace leader now. Coming into the game, she led her team in aces, gets another one right there. I see why they want her to serve. Yeah, top of them just gliding that one softly over the net. Nothing Amaya Trenery could do over on that right side. Just helpless. Another good serve there. Again, just placed right over the net. Dug out, though, and hit into the net. Another point. Now a two-point lead. 16-14. Top of them back again to serve. Let's see if top of them can bring a, uh, Spanish Fork back into the second set here. Likewise, Amanda Peterson over standing up actually near the court for the Golden Eagles trying to urge her team to get together here. Had an opportunity to pull away, could not handle it though. That one dug up by Ikatao. Tipped over. Excellent, smart play by number nine, Amaya Trenery. She's been having herself a great game. Yeah, makes up for the missed play there, uh, you know, on the right side on the serve with a good kill of her own. No, it looks like they might have called it touching the net, a little violation. Topham now back to serve again. Fans didn't like that one. Late call there by the refs. Monahan hits it over. Robarge again. Just hits the line. That's going to be a point. Robarge 16-16 now. They've tied it up. Big run here, and all thanks to the serving from Kelsey Topham. This will be her fifth consecutive serve. There's a reason she's the leader of aces on this team. Yeah, Peterson getting up. We may see a timeout here. Spanish Fork gets another point. Dug out. Off the net. Placed it just in the position they needed to off the net. Unable to dig it out. And the, the Golden Eagles get a much needed point. Back up 17-16 now. Once again, the athleticism by Maple Mountain to get in the right spot. You just see how much of an advantage they have over Spanish Fork, it seems, although good play there by Robards, just getting it right over another kill for her. She came to play 17-17 now, and we'll see number three, uh, Mandy Rothog come in from Maple Mountain. Serving is number five, Trinity Benson. Of course, Maple Mountain liking to mix it up here. They go in an L-shaped formation here. First time I believe we've seen this today. And a service error from Benson. Another needed point from Maple Mountain, 18-17. And we'll see Trenery back to serve for the Golden Eagles. Yeah, if they can replicate what Topham did there, the service that she provided on that back line, they can get themselves back in, but they cannot commit errors. And likewise, Maple Mountain can't either. Another miss on the, on the play over the back line there. 
Service errors have been the story of this set for the Golden Eagles, leading to multiple points, keeping the Dons right in this game. It goes down now, back to serve. Gets it over, dug out by Swindlehurst. Tipped over. Oh, great dig by Ikatau. Free ball opportunity now for the Golden Eagles. Dug out by Swindlehurst. Here's the pass. Hits it over, blocked. Great rally, keeps it alive. Looks like two people for Spanish Fork tried to dig it. Gets it over, though. And a great kill from Jaysha Aoni. Melina Robards with the attempted block. However, it's off the block. Hard kill there. Another big time matchup again that we talked about. Second time we've seen them really meet up. And uh, first time gets stuffed. Uh, Ioane comes right back with the kill. And what do you know, another service error ties it at 19 now. Yeah. That's killing them. It is killing the momentum for this team. You know, they get a good play and then it gets negated by an error. You know, much like any sport, you, you know, mistakes just kill momentum, and momentum is, is so key. You know, it almost trumps out talent and parts in the game. Attempted to hit it over by Swindlehurst, hits it just right into the net. And a rare error by her, too. You know, she is the, the leader for the team, you know, and digs, and, and is just their all-around, you know, star, I think, of the team, just a glue. Just a rare error, though, from her. Tipped over by Spanish Fork. Aona hits it. Dug out by the Dons. Benson now hits it over. Maple Mountain now. Uh, Aona with the attempted kill. Goes out, though. Two-point lead. Their biggest lead of the match. Trying to put a little mustard on that one. That one was flying out, hitting the back judge in the corner. And we've seen she has capability. She's got a hard, powerful swing. That one just a little too much on it. Robars now. Back to serve. And for Spanish Fourth, this is the first lead I think they've had so far in the set. And Great dig. Number 11, Hayden McMillan with the dig and the tip. Timeout now for Maple Mountain, 22-19. A quick timeout, and then uh, we'll go to break here. We'll be back for the end of the second set here on Spanish Fourth 17. Back here on Spanish Fourth Channel 17 with the third set between Maple Mountain and Spanish Fork. One apiece, great set there by the Dons and a great close to take the second set there. You gotta give credit to Spanish Fork staying alive, coming back down six twice. However, if I was Maple Mountain, you have to cut the service errors down. Too many kept Spanish Fork in there. Like you said, nine consecutive sets won by Maple Mountain. First one lost here, it has to be a sour taste see what they can do and see how they respond here. It'll be Caitlin Bailey in the serve for the Golden Eagles. That one dug out by Ikatau. Spiked at and hit at by number, I believe it was number 10. Maybe Charlton on that play. Second on her team in kills, gets a powerful one there to start. We'll already see a sub as number 11, Hayden McMillan comes in. Spanish Fork picking up right where they left off here. It'll be Robarge in to serve. You were talking about momentum earlier. Looks like Spanish Fork has it all now. It's such a powerful tool in sports. That one hitting the netting. It looked like Bailey just ran right into it. Hard play there when the ball, and we've seen that a couple of times in this game, when that ball just comes right down at the net. It's kind of a bang, bang play, you know. Last second, you kind of have to decide how you play it. Do you play it off the net? Do you just hit it before it goes there? Maya Turner miss hits that one on the bump, and that'll be another ace. For Spanish Fork. We haven't seen a lot of errors other than service errors from Maple Mountain. You get one there, and Robards gets herself an ace. Three nothing already. Yeah, Maya Trenery just uh, gets a word from her coach, gets on the bench there. In for is number two, Jet Li Ioane. It's the second time we've called her name so far in the game. Robards in again with the left hand, and Jet Li comes to pick it up. Hitting it is Monahan, and Robards responds. Good play. She'll come back with the left. That one hits the netting, and it's double hit, and that'll be a Maple Mountain point. And the gym goes crazy. The student section screaming. They understand that's a big point. Puts an end to a three-point streak for Spanish Fork. It's been an extended run of sorts for Spanish Fork. You know, they've, they've scored around 10 to 12 or so points 
compared to maybe one or two for Maple Mountain. You can't say exactly how much, but over the last couple of sets, it has been all Spanish Fork. Could be a momentum swing here, a much needed one as Swindlehurst digs that one up for Maple Mountain. Trenary tries to spike it. Right in the right place is Robarge. One hit over by Hansen. Should say Mansfield. Blocked at the line by Charlton. What a play. Charlton has been excellent so far on the line in this game. Wow. Excellent block. So it'll be number 15, Mansfield, to hit. She's been good on her serves today, giving her team multiple points. I don't think she has an ace yet, but controls the ball well back there. And Peterson mixing it up. In comes number 35 for Maple Mountain. This is the first time we've seen her so far for the Golden Eagles. She's going deep into her bench here. Spanish Fork has all the momentum up 4-1 here in the third set. Trenary, powerful serve, dug up by Ikatao, though. Good play. Charlton will bump it over a light one. Hansen picks it up, Swindlehurst sets it up. Hansen hits it, Ikatao, another miss hit. You know, this is difficult. She's had a couple of those where she's just misplayed it. And that one in particular, just thinking that eight ball was going to go over her head and no one was going to be there. The main thing I saw there from the Golden Eagles is once they got that point, every girl was up on their bench. They know that how much this means. They do not want to lose this game. Great dig there, though, by Spanish Fork. It would be a huge win, though, on the other hand, for Spanish Fork if they can manage it. Monaghan hits it, though. Set up there by Call, by Benson, I should say. Blocked out again at the line. Charlton and McMillan there. Ikatao sets it up. Robarge. Miss hit there by Benson. That one goes off the netting. Maple Mountain now pulling back into it. Score is now 3 to 4. All the energy and momentum is shifting to the Golden Eagles' way as we see Swindlehurst now back to set. And they, to needed, serve. they needed some uh, jolt of sorts, and they're hoping to get it here. Swindlehurst with the hit. Good serve there, just over the netting. Set up there for McMillan, and it just floats over the line. That was actually Charlton there, number 10, with the play. How many times have we said her name, Charlton, today? She's been excellent. Early candidate for our MVP sports player of the game. She'll get the rightful serve here. But it just hits the top of the netting and falls down. That is a momentum killer. Opportunity to go up three points on that serve, but gives it right back now, 5-4 game. Yeah, Charlton upset there. She gets a word from the assistant coach on the bench. On the other hand, though, you see number three, Mandy Rothog, the play there, and converging her two Dons. That one just missed hit and out of play. Five apiece here in the third set. Mandy Rothog, a senior, getting back to serve again with the ace right there. She hasn't had a ton of action, but when she's in, she performs. Rothog again, that one goes off the sidearm of Mansfield. She'll hit it again just to get it over. Don save it. Ioane hits it hard. That one gets deflected, and the point goes to Maple Mountain. It looked like it took a little bit of a redirection there as it went over the back line. Eagles take the lead now for the first time. They knew right away that that ball got, got tipped to the line by the Dons, earning the point there, 6-5, their first lead of the set. Rothog with her third attempt now. That one floating close, and it was just in the right hit place for Iwane. Quick tap down and a timeout here by Valerie Benson. She knows the momentum shifting here, and so she'll take a break. And we'll throw it to our sponsors here. We'd like to thank you know, of course, all of our sponsors who provide help and, and, and support for today's broadcast. That would be the car guys at the Blue Diamond Auto Group, Lance Wilson State Farm, MVP Sports, Triple T Heating, Cooling, and Plumbing, Two Jacks Pizza, the attorneys in law, Mikkel Thompson and Hunter, and the Driggs Mortgage Team. Seven five to score here in the third set. One thing I've seen from Maple Mountain is they've limited their service errors, which was costly in the second set. They've performed well, especially Mandy Rothog now back to serve again. She's been good so far in the back with her service. That one though falls over the back line. 
So her run comes to an end. Now Maple Mountain will get a substitution here. It'll be Topham in for McMillan. And she'll get the service as well. Leader in aces has one already today. Let's see if she can do it again. And Maple Mountain ready to receive the serve. Monahan gets down on knee, picks it up. Top of quick, throws it over. Back and forth play there at the net. Ikatao sets it up in no man's land. That one tipped over wisely by Spanish Fork. Iwane comes in, good diving play there by Topham, covered by Monahan. Set up by Bailey, another one of those surprise tips. The Dons weren't ready for it, third hit, doesn't go. Played that perfectly, perfectly tipped it over. No man's land, looked like she was gonna trick them and try to pass, tips it right over, gets the point. It's another go, that's her go-to move, Caitlin Bailey, it's in that surprise tip. She's done it quite a few times here. That all has to do with where you set your feet. Looks like you're going one way, able to sneak it over though. Good the misdirection point. there, exactly, and the Spanish Fork fans love it. Or the Maple Mountain fans love it, the Spanish Fork fans love the error there, giving them the point. Close one here in the third set, and it's been close throughout. Again, this is a huge game. The Spanish Fork can win on the road, go to three and one in conference play, try and recover from their two and eight start. Picked up there by Ikatao, hit over a good play. It is out of bounds though. The line judge rules it out. It was Mansfield who tried to get the point. But it was unsuccessful there and Maple Mountain will get it. Spanish Fork fans don't like that one. They thought it was in. No argument from the coaches or bench though. Looked like they made the right call. Iwane in with the powerful serve right into the netting. Three of their last four serves have been errors. Right as I mentioned, they had done a good job limiting them this set. 9-8 now. Yeah. Well, Iwane will get benched. Swindlehurst will come in. Now Ikatao, the libero to hit. To the back line it goes. Set up by Bailey, hit up by Monahan. It's the first time we called her name in a while on the front line. That one a smart play by Ikatao. Diving at it was Jetly Iwane, but she wasn't able to get any help. And a great play there by Ikatao to get it to the corner. Not much you can do there. That one clearly going to no man's land. Attempt to dive, good effort, but not much you can do. 9-9 nine, nine as the Don tied it. Ikatao to serve. Ikatao is one of two seniors on this team, and that one was almost a, you know, how do you say that? Just rolled along the line there. Good recovery, though, by Maple Mountain. In comes Charlton, and she'll get the point. Spanish Fork is stepping up their game, limiting their errors. They came to play the set. They want a big road victory. A lot of the JV team still in attendance, of course, because this is a road game. They're in, on their feet in the corner as well. In support, Monahan gets the hit, deflects off of Charlton, and that's a kill. As you mentioned with Monahan, we haven't mentioned her name much recently. She's going to have to be big. She's one of their better players by far. Of course, a uh, new addition as well to the team came over from California and a, a much welcomed addition, in fact, for this team. Just another asset is that one. Is up ace and a much needed one. First one we've seen in a while for Maple Mountain. It's number 14, Caitlin Bailey. Yeah, we mentioned her name earlier. Bailey was good at serving along with Rothog for the Golden Eagles. She's done an excellent job here so far. Smart tip over there by Topham. Eagles recover though. Monahan again hits this one. That one goes over the line, but not before the Dons touch the netting. It's a violation. Point to the Golden Eagle. Spanish Fork starting to get frustrated. You can see it on their faces. Need to clean up a little bit of their violations and errors. Having a little bit of a word amongst each other. And picked up by Benson. Yeah, by Robarge, and that's another point for her. The lefty gets her kill. That kill was right in the middle of three Maple Mountain defenders left looking at each other. Didn't know who was going to go for the ball. 12-11 now. Robarge in again. Gets that one picked up by Swindlehurst. Monahan blocked. What a play by Mansfield. Swats her at the line. Excellent block. Excellent block. That was a hard attempted kill. She ties it up for her team. 12-12 right at the line.
Great serve there by Robards who dives at the play and it's just odd, odd sequence of events there. That one just punched right back over the Spanish Fork. They weren't ready for it. We've seen a lot of talent, a lot of skill on this Maple Mountain team. Sometimes though, points come with a little bit of luck. We saw that there. So Jet Liuani takes his seat. Here comes Amaya Trinery. That one a powerful serve there by Monahan. And off the tip, they'll get another point there on an ace. Looks like they may be starting to find their rhythm now. Monahan has been better this set. They need her to step up. Currently the score is 14-12. Maple Mountain leading Spanish Fork in the third set. And that one will go in as well. That's two straight aces for Monahan. That one diving in the left side. Leads her team in aces. Two in this set, another one earlier, that's three tonight. We called her out, we didn't hear her name much, we hear her now, although that one goes over the back line. A couple of big points though for Maple Mountain, they get a lead here, it's 15-13. If I'm Coach Amanda Peterson on that, I take the two aces, I'll trade two aces for a service error, that's fine, with their serving tonight, those aces are big. Now offensive firepower certainly is something that they they hope to improve that. You know, the defense is there. But definitely on offense with the service abilities, the aces, those really, you know, boost the team's confidence and their, their momentum as well. 15-14 the score. Dodon's just got the last point here. And to hit his Mansfield. Bailey sets it up for Trenery, who hits it, and it just goes right off the row bars and out of play. Trenery has some power in her kill. We've seen at times she hits it a little too strong, goes over. When she hits it just right, that power is hard to dig out, as we saw there, 16-14. Back to hit a Swindlehurst right at the Maple Mountain logo. Diving ball just goes to Benson, who sends it over. Picked up by Trenery, a running move there. It's not going to go over. Ioane tried to get it back over. It just fell right back. From our angle, that looks like that might have gone over, but that's tough to handle right off the net like that. Tough play indeed here. 16-15 in the third set. Charlton hits this one over. Monahan picks it up. Bailey over to Hanson. Smart play there in the back corner. 17-15 the score now. Student section really getting into it now. Looks like. They've got a little friendly rivalry going on, the Spanish Fork versus the Maple Mountain student section. Yeah, the fans calling out the other side as well. A little friendly banter between Spanish Fork and Maple Mountain. Diving play there by Mansfield. This one's going to have to be hit over, and it is by Benson, and it falls in. Wow, lucky play there. It just looked like Rothog thought it was going to go out, and she was in a little bit of shock. You can tell right there, Mandy Rothog tried to take a risk, thought it would be going out. When she realized it didn't, put her hands over her mouth, realized that she might have made a little bit of a mental error. You got to take risks, though, sometime. That one just didn't pay off. Yeah, gravity with the huge <laughs> assist on that play, for sure. <laughs> Big hit here. Monahan sets it up to Bailey, to Trenery, a two-handed tap over. Ikatao gets it. Hit over by Benson. Moving over is Monahan. Trenery tries again, and she'll be successful there on the rebound. It goes out of play. 18-16 now, Golden Eagles. Every point here on out is big. This one's going to go down to the wire, as the last two have, as we'll see a substitution of Jet Li Ayuana coming in for Trenery. Tell the players are having fun here, and they're loving it. You can see the smiles you know, on their faces as they're coming off. This one has been a fun one so far through three. A pivotal set here, though. Again, winner gets up 2-1, 1-1 right now. Hit over, and that one just goes over to the left side. I don't think it even got over the, the bar in the middle. This might be one of the biggest serves of the game for Spanish Fork, need a point. And it's the freshman, Jet Li Ioane. Rebounded, and a huge spike by Monahan. Set up perfectly by the Dons. And right in the back corner. She couldn't have asked for a better ball. That came right into her wheelhouse. Powerful kill. 2016 now. Maple Mountain leading. That one served up on a tee. The Eagles have the momentum. Diving, running for it is Topham. Hit at by Robarge. 
Picked up by Bailey. Monahan tries again. That one rebounds and it falls in the line. Spanish Fork gets a break. Look to me, someone might have hit the net there, but not calling it. 2017 now, Spanish Fork which, with a much needed point. Yeah, and the officials and the coaches talking about it. It's actually Spanish Fork who's talking to the officials about something. A little bit of movement here for the Golden Eagles as they receive this one. Monahan will try a third time. That one deflects. Good play there on defense by the Dons. Picked up by Robarge. Tapped over and hit up by Bailey. Stopped at the line. Again, Monahan. Picked up by the Dons. Set up by Topham. Hit up by Mansfield. Ioane has to set it over. Good rally here in the third set. Hit up by Mans by Robarge, set up by the Dons. It'll be Monahan, deflected, no good. Bailey, Tijuana, saved that there by Benson. Hit at it, goes off the line, and that'll be a Maple Mountain point. What a rally between both teams! I tell you, whoever won that point was going to carry a ton of momentum. We saw multiple blocks, multiple digs. Ultimately, it's Maple Mountain with a 21-17 lead now. That might have been the rally of the match so far. Big swing point there. Swindlehurst gets it. Mansfield sets it up. Top of him. That one just softly hit over. Again, Monahan gets this kill. She's come alive here in the last half of this set, Monahan. Some big kills, even a couple aces. Oh! Oh, they gave the point there. They didn't grant the substitution or something. The word the officials give the point there to Spanish Fork. Just a weird. So it was weird some sort of violation. So yeah, another violation there. That's huge for Spanish Fork. Now only down yeah. three. Officials have given a couple of points for some violations and whatnot. A little bit of late calls. Boy, the Dons really took that point and ran with it, though. That's a two point swing now. It's 21 19. Coach Peterson on the front on the sideline looking a little frustrated with his last couple of points. Could have gone her way easily, but violation leads to a Spanish fourth point. And Peterson rather level headed, doesn't really talk a whole lot to the officials. That one though goes to Maple Mountain. It's 22-19 now. Hansen will come in in place of Rothog for the Golden Eagles. And it'll be Bailey to serve. Bailey's been one of their better servers so far this game. That one hit and picked up by Benson. Over to Topham, over to Rothig. Not Rothig, I should say, Robarge, and they'll give the points to Spanish Fork. Just more close calls, and Coach Peterson not happy about that one. That one looked like it was inches from going either way. Another close call that goes Spanish Fork's way here. Home fans a little bit antsy here. Trying to rally their team, it's 22-20. They still are leading, and another violation this time in the netting. 22-21, Spanish Fork has fought their way back. And you can tell Coach Peterson frustrated here. The team is kind of losing their composure. They got to try and keep it together here. They're up one. Spanish Fork over to Monaghan. That one softly floats over. They get it back, though, a second time. Set up by Robarge over to Ikatao, who hits it in the netting. Costly mistake there, 23-21. That went from potentially tying the set to giving a two-point lead to Maple Mountain. If Ikatao could have that back, she'd take it. it yeah, like a timeout Coach Spanish Benson's going to have a quick word. So we'll take a quick break here. 23-21 the score in the third set. We'll be back on Spanish Fork Channel 17. Again, 2-1 lead here at stake in this matchup. It's been close throughout. Picked up by Robar, soft tap there. Swindlehurst there, though, to get it. Good play there, though, by Charlton. And back in the mix on the front lines as she gets a point. She saw that her opponent, number 35, had her back turned towards her, unaware where the ball was going, tipped it right in front of her. It really has been an impressive game for uh, Kennedy Charlton. So far through three sets, has just really been a force to be reckoned with on the front line. Bailey. To Trenery hits that one far. That one was looking to go out though. Sandsport does recover again. Bailey to Trenery off the R's. Good save there by Robarge. That's two. 
and hit over. Good play there by Charlton as well. Dons recover, Turner the third time. Soft tap there, picked up by Benson to Robars, who just had an excellent play, met at the line there by Hansen. And again, back and forth here. Hit and met at the line, Hansen gets the block. You want to talk about momentum, you watch that rally. Wow. Both sides going back and forth. Hard hits, amazing digs. Can we talk about the dig for just a second by Melina Robards? I know they didn't get the point, but she gave her body for that. Robards with an excellent play there. Ikatao gets his 24-22. That one goes out of bounds. Point goes to Maple Mountain in the set as well. 25-22. Just going out of play, a crushing end to that set for the Dons. But for Maple Mountain, they take a commanding 2-1 to one lead. As we begin, we'll see Nia Ikatao ready to serve. Gets it over. Dug out by Swindlehurst. Hit. Trenner with the error. Hits it just far out, and Spanish Fork will take a 1-0 lead to begin. Ikatao ready to serve again. Uh, Trenner's uh, had her share of action. You can say over the course of this game on the front line, trying to get spikes in. She gets a bump there as well. We see Robards with the dig. Hits it over. Oh, dug out by Trenery. Excellent. It gets out with the hit. We'll see Benson. Oh, excellent dig by Swindlehurst. However, goes just far out. 2-0 lead. Giving her body for that on the ground, but just hits it too far right. You know, we've seen a couple of players in this game that you know you haven't normally seen for Maple Mountain. Saw number 35 come in. We've seen number seven come in as well. A lot of plug and play so far from Maple Mountain. And they have the depth to do that. As we see another error leads to a 3-0 lead for Spanish Fork. Maple Mountain has a deep bench. They have the ability to go whenever they want. Looks like Coach Peterson is looking to switch it up, get some momentum. Ikatao serving again. Gets this one over. Dug out. Here's the hit. See number seven with the attempted tip. And yeah, that may be Alice Paul there, number seven. Last week she was number five for the team. Last week she had herself an excellent game. First time we've seen her really today. However, helps her team get a point 3-1. As we'll see Caitlin Bailey go back to serve for the Golden Eagles. Overhand serve gets it over to Ikatao, to Benson, hits it into the net, 3-2 now. As we'll see Bailey back to serve again. Yeah, Bailey been their best server so far again, has been the most consistent out of all of the bunch for Maple Mountain. Gets it over. Attempted dig, free ball opportunity now for the Golden Eagles. Hit by Swindlehurst, and we'll say Ione with the hard kill. Gets the point, attempted to dig there, but too much to handle. She's got herself quite the hard kill. Luane got a cannon for sure there on the front. Good play there by Jaysha to get that one right in the middle. Dug out by Topham, Ikatao, and the tip over by number nine, Jaden Reed. Called her name a few times today. That's smart, just tip over the net, gets her to a 4-3 lead. Yeah, just emulating her counterpart there on Maple Mountain, Kaylin Bailey, is doing a little redirection on the tip. Floats in right there for the point. Benson now, hits it over. And off the block, number 15, Abigail Hansen, with the kill, attempted block, but too powerful to handle, goes out, 4-4. She was a pivotal part in that third set, getting a couple of key blocks. Couple big hits as well. See Alice Call back to serve for the first time. Gets it over. Dug out. Ikatao with the bump. And the block by number eight, Jaysha Aone. Leader in blocks for her team. That was powerful. Second time Jaden Reed tried to go at the net. Again, the front line again. Ioane Hansen and uh, Tren Trenery uh, just being too dominant on the front. Alice Call hits it over just barely. Dug out. Free ball, Caitlin, or Swindlehurst hits it. And we'll see Trenery with the kill. Too much to handle again. These girls have some spice on their kills. Boy, that front line is just picking on Spanish Fork right now. They have all the momentum. 
We've been Whether it's Ioane or it's Trenary, they just are one after the other getting big hits. We've been saying their front line is the advantage the entire game, and they're proving it in this set. Hits it over, dug out. We'll see Topham with the free ball opportunity now for the Golden Eagles. It's Ione again with the kill, with the hit, excuse me. An attempted kill there. Good play, though, there by Reed, or by Benson, I should say. Call it with the bump. Ione dug out by Benson. Oh, a great diving attempt by Topham. Too much to handle, though. It goes into the seat. 7-4 now for the Golden Eagles. Alice Call serving, making the most of her playing time in the set. Yeah, yeah good observation there. It was Topham, who's now the Lobero instead of Ikatau. They switched out the rules of the two. Dug out. Robars. Free ball opportunity again. And that free ball leads to a Spanish Fort point. Unable to dig that out. 7-5 now. Yeah, as you mentioned, Topham and Ikatau have switched with Topham now wearing the libero jersey. Did that during the set break. And you have to wonder if Ikatau was just feeling a little bit of, of uh, confidence issues or if that was a coaching decision. I'm, I'm assuming the latter there, you know, just a, maybe a strategy play, try and get a uh, different libero in the back. Ikatau now bumps it to Robarge with the hard left-handed kill. You could see her left hand coming Did you coming see how she powerful. got up too for that wow. one? Wow. What a jump by uh, Robarge there to get that one. And the left hand playing an advantage. That was an impressive spike. She hit that right at the angle she needed to, just in bounds. She top him now back to serve again. Libero hits it over. Swindlehurst to Bailey to Trenary. A little misconfusion there. Yeah, that was a tough one there. Ikatau, I think, ran into the path of Robars, who was ready to set it up. Ikatau just got right in the way there, caused them to miss hit. You know, they wonder if she's playing out of position, she's going to have to get used to playing the front line now instead of the back. Maple Mountain hits it out, a service error there, first of the set, 8-7 now. As we will see number 15, Kelsey Mansfield back to serve. Mansfield's done well in her serving today. Gets this one just over, dug up. Trenary with the hard kill. Their front line is just phenomenal in this set. They've got some speed. They've been playing well indeed. Ikatau's going to come out, and in comes a new face. It's number one, Emery Cadoza for Spanish Fork. This is the first time we've heard her name. She'll come into the front line there, trying to get her position set. Her teammates kind of talking to her. We'll also see number three, Mandy Rothog, who's been impressive with her serves tonight, come in for the Golden Eagles. Spanish Fork finally gets set here after a while, moving around, trying to get in place. Free ball opportunity for the Golden Eagles. And we'll see a tip by number 11. However, Spanish Fork's able to handle it. Robards with the hit, dug out. And the tip by number 10. That's Charlton That's there. That's Charlton again. First time we've called her name in the set. But smart tip there. Coach having a word with your, the uh, row bars in to serve. They could use a good set from her on the service side. Gets it over, dug out. The pass, Trenary, hard hit. Libero does her job. Tipped over. Trenary again. And hits it just in, right? That was inches from going out, but that speed really got it. That's two big kills for Trenary, and she's pumped about it, too. You can tell she's excited. Big hits there for her. Goes right into the corner, and right as she's about to take the serve, she'll take her stage exit. Coach Peterson's been doing that a lot today. When Trenary gets back to serve, they'll put the freshman number two, Jet Lee Aione, in. Looks like they were impressed with her. I'm impressed with her, and, you know, Trenary as well has had a good game. She gets that one over. There's the attempt to kill, dug out by Swindlehurst. You see Call with the hit, almost blocked at the line, tips it over by Spanish Fork. Call again, blocked. Out of bounds though, off the block, that's a point. 11-8 now. That's a good attempt by Pedoza, who uh, got a hand on it, just went out of bounds. We'll see Jet Lee back again, gets it over. But out of bounds, a service error, 11-9 now. Jaden Reed's going to come in here for Kelsey Topham. 
We see Kennedy, Kennedy Charlton for the Dons back to serve, 11-9. Gets it over, dug out, going to the net, punched over. Oh, and Reed just mishit it there. She had her shot, she had her space. Looks like she just didn't get, didn't get enough hand on it. Yeah, maybe got her eye off the ball as well too there. You gotta keep your eye on the ball as in L Sports. Just missed it off the fingertips. Obviously Maple Mountain leading 2-1. Costly errors like that will cost Spanish Fork this set. Swindlehurst with the serve. Dug out by Robarge. Benson, excellent dip by Jet Lee. And the attempted, the attempted tick by Alice Call. Looks like it hit the net, and they're going to award the point to the Dons. 12-10 now. Took a while for the rest to discuss that, whether it hit this, the actual bar on the top or whether somebody hit the netting. Nevertheless, Dons get the point. And Marie Cordoza with her first serve. Oh! Aone with the attempt at hard kill blocked. What a rejection there by Benson and Reed, both converging on the play there on the front line. Those are a couple of names you don't really hear on that front edge necessarily. It's been mostly Charlton who's been you know, dishing out the blocks. Cardozo on her first serve, gets the point, now back for a second. Gets it over, dug out, bump. And it's gonna be Jet Li Aone with the overhead pass. Benson with the attempted kill, block tipped. Alice Call with the hit now, dug out by Robarge. Looks like point goes to the Eagles there. Spanish Fork might have hit the net there. 13-11 now. Yeah, I think it was a fourth hit as well ah. on, the, on the block. So we'll see number 14, Caitlin Bailey. And number 15, Abigail Hansen comes in for Rothog, adding height to that front line. Bailey now, service error, hits it right into the net. She's been impressive today, but that one got away from her. Yeah, there's not enough juice on that one. You know, a name we haven't really heard from now again, you know, it's been up and down, but uh, Monahan for the Eagles, you haven't seen her play here for a while, it looks like. We're used to seeing her on the front line as that one goes out and uh, Maple Mountain gets the point. She ended the third set strong. Lots of blocks, lots of kills, but she hasn't played much, if any, in this fourth set. We'll see Alice call back, our player of the game last week. I haven't called her name much, just getting action in this set. And her first one is a service error. So three straight now as we go 14-13, Maple Mountain with the lead. We'll see Kelsey Topham back to serve. Charlton comes in as well. We'll see if uh, Charlton can work her magic on the front line as she has all game. Providing the stuffing. Topham gets it over. Maple Mountain now call. Right into the net. Another error. Ties it at 14 apiece. Oh, the error is just rearing their, ugly, rearing their ugly head, I should say, here over the course of this fourth set. And yeah. call after back-to-back -back errors is going to come out. With Monahan there she is, comes in, number 24. Call one of the X Factors for this team, I think, off the bench. You know, she has a word here with her coach. As we look at Topham here serving. Last game she was a A-plus player, you know, a, a X Factor in a positive way here. Now she's committed a couple of errors. It's just the wave you kind of ride as a player on the bench. And it's Amaya Trenary again. Having herself a game puts it right into the spot where she needed to. Trenery's loving it. She is feeling it for sure. She might be the happiest player I've seen today. Every <laughs> she's always got a smile she's on got her face. The, she's got the most energy so far, that's for sure. Maple Mountain gets it over, but another service error. That's four of their last five. Ties it at 15. Yeah, they just can't get over their own mistakes here. If they could just manage to play clean volleyball, you know, they could be cruising with this set here in the victory as well. I would even say that service errors are their one big mistake. They've been clean through most of it, except for that factor. Yeah, defense and movement, it's all been there. Offense has even had its spark. It's been the service problem. See Hansen now with the kill. Her height gives her quite the advantage. They're using it now in this set. All the energy with Maple Mountain. When they score, they get hyped right now. See Mandy Rothog back again. They like her serving. 
16-15, Maple Mountain. Looks like we'll take a little pause as Mandy Rothlock has to tie her shoe. A little equipment fix. Now she's up and ready for the serve. Gets it over, dug out. A little confusion there, but Robars gets it. Benson gets it over. Trenary attempted another oh. one, but blocked. Excellent block from Kennedy Charlton. How many times are we going to say her name? Yeah, you know she was feeling it. Trenary was hoping for another one of those kills, and Charlton says, not so fast, my friend. Comes in there with the rejection. Great play by Charlton. 16 all. Robar's back. Gets it over. Dug out. It'll be Trenary trying another one. Little tip this time. It looked like it might have gone off the fingertips. Did not. From Kennedy Charlton, though, attempted. As Maple Mountain gets that point, looks like we're going to have some subs. So we'll see Jet Li, Aone come in for Trenary. They like her serving, especially at that substitution. 17 16 now, Maple Mountain. Monahan back in the game as well. Gets it over, tip over. Tipped again over now, Spanish forecast control. We'll see Benson now with the attempted kill. That one was hard. Rothog attempted to get that one out, just come in too quickly, 17 apiece. Good kill there by Benson. Top one comes out. See Kennedy Charlton back to serve, 17 apiece. Just gets it over, Swindleton. Swindlehurst, excuse me. And there she is, Monahan with the kill. We were waiting for her to come in and she makes her entrance known. Big kill there, right in the back corner. Great accuracy, great ball. She was the X Factor in set three. Haven't talked about her much, hasn't played much this set. Makes her impact there. She swindle her back to serve. Gets it over, Robarge, Cardoza, and Benson over into the net, an error, 19-17. That's costly at this time. Yeah, I remember this time last set when it was close, you were talking about who's going to pull out, and then a couple of big errors by Spanish Fork ended up costing them the third set. Again here, a big turning point, 19-17, the score. Dug out, dug over, another error, unable to handle that dig. We'll see 20-17, these errors are gonna cost them. And unlike last time, there's no set if they lose this one. Yeah, just hit too hard, Valerie Benson knows this, so she's gonna call a timeout to try and regroup for one last stand here. During the timeout, we'd like to give a big shout out to our sponsors, the following. The car guys at the Blue Diamond Auto Group, Lance Wilson State Farm, MVP Sports, Triple T Heating, Cooling, Plumbing, Two Jacks Pizza, Mikkel Thompson and Hunter, Attorneys at Law, and the Driggs Mortgage Team for our sponsors. Let's take a quick look ahead for both of these teams. You know, for Spanish Fork, they will, uh, you know, just off the loss to Park City, uh, you know, last week they played Maple Mountain here on the 17th. And then a couple of days they're going to go take on another rival in town. We're going to go at just a little bit outside Spanish Fork, go outside to Springville on the 19th. You know, it's for the Maple Mountain Golden Eagles. They will play Wasatch, or Payson, I should say, at Payson, and then Wasatch at home, followed by Salem Hills after that. Coming back now from the timeout. It's 2017, Maple Mountain with the lead. Set four, leading 2-1. Swindlehurst to serve. Gets it over, dug out. is able to handle it. Tipped over. It's going to be Monahan with the attempt to kill into the net. The tough, hitting error. Tough play there. I mean, when Rothog went to go dig that one out, it went to Bailey. Bailey cross court pass, and Monahan just a little bit out of position there when she went to spike it just a little bit too far back. Ikatown now back in. 2018, she'll serve. Gets it over. Dug out by Swindlehurst again. And Monahan with the tip, not the hard one this time. Ikatow. To Benson. And a point goes to Spanish Fork. 2019 now. Last stand here. Monahan just a little bit out of position when she went to tip that one over. Spanish Fork set it up nicely. Powerful hit there. Bouncing off of Jet Lee Ioni. Out of play. Good, good move by the Dons, and they pull within one. Ikatao serving again. Gets it over. Overhand. Monahan into the net. Again into the net, and they have tied it at 20 due to some costly errors. We've seen both of these points through errors. 
Yeah, just a couple of mistakes. Just a little unlucky bounce there more than anything else. Just roll off the top and back into play. Can't be hit more than three times. Ikatao gets it over. This time, though, it's Jaysha Aoni with the powerful kill, 21-20. I thought Monaghan was getting ready. They played a little trickery, and it worked. 21-20 now. Ioane is just a powerful player. You know, she's had that throughout the game. We've just been so impressed by her kills. Bailey gets an over now for the Golden Eagles. Blocked and by Hansen. Hansen, Ioane, and Monaghan. Those are just, that line is just so powerful. And then you add in top of them. What a, what a great team, you know, unit. They can just interchange and play and not, you know, they can just pick up where they leave off. As we see Benson hit it into the net, 23-20. Golden Eagles starting to pull away. Can't make errors at this point. We'll see Benson having a word with her coach, Valerie Benson. Yeah, she knows this. Dug out, Ikatao. And they get the point. Good play there by Mansfield. A uh, game saving point, to be honest there. They pull within two here. Dip. They're gonna need one of those runs like they had in the first set. Big difference here between two and four would have been set point, match point even. See Benson back to serve, 23-21. Gets it over, dug out. The pass. Ayana with the tip. Ikatown now in Spanish Fork. Arrow bars. Ooh, great save there. Well, Monaghan, I thought I got away with the double hit, but. See Mansfield with the tip over. Swindlehurst with the pass now. Hansen. Dug out by Spanish Fork. Ikatao with the little tapper. Another tapper. Spanish Fork has control. We'll see Robar's free ball opportunity now. Dug out by Swindlehurst and the Golden Eagles. And Monahan hits it into the net. 23-22 now. Uh, she's frustrated. That was a missed opportunity there. Putting life back into Spanish Fork. Looks like call's gonna come in for Monahan. Coach. You know, Coach Peterson's not happy about that. That's a costly error. She's been she's been struggling a little bit this set. Yeah, she has. And she's been quick to pull the chain as well. She's having a word with her. You know, it's a learning opportunity, you know, regardless of the fact that it's a tight game. Robo Ars with the tip. Dug out by Swindlehurst. Jet Li Aoni gets it over. Dug out by Topham. Ikatown now. Robards with the left hand. Dug out by Swindlehurst again. What a play by Swindlehurst. She gets it over now. Ooh, dug out by Benson. Ikatow. Robards gonna try again. Blocked by Jet Leone. Here's Hansen now. With the kill. 24-22. Abigail Hansen with the kill there. That was strong. All the credit in the world goes to Swindlehurst on that play. Without Swindlehurst, that point wouldn't have happened. See, match point, it'll be Alice Call back to serve. 24-22, gets it over, dug out. Ikatao to Robarge with the left hand, and it's in. 24-23, match saving kill. What a shot there, under pressure and under duress. By the slightest of margins, that one sneaks into the right side. Still match point now, however, Spanish Fork and Topham back to serve. Student section really getting into this one. Gets it just over. Dig by call. Trenery into the net, tie game. 24-24. Remember, it's win by two now. That was huge. Spanish Fork ties it up. Top him back to serve again. Gets it over. Miss. No, it's an ace. Miss played. It leads to an ace. 25-24. Oh, Coach Peterson can't believe it. She's she needs a timeout. She needs a break. 25-24. If you miss it, an ace from Kelsey Topham has given Spanish Fork a lead. She'll serve again. Gets it over. Doug. Trenery. Looks like that was going out, but saved anyway by Spanish Fork. We'll see Mansfield oh. with the error. Man, you, if you're Benson, you gotta be feeling it, man. That is just a point. That was 
right on the back line and she played it. I needed that. Hair ties it up at 25-25. We'll see Jaysha Aione back to serve for Maple Mountain. Gets it over, dug out by Robars. Ikatao. And the little tip. Charlton. Charlton gives Spanish Fork a 26-25 lead. Set point. You could tell that both Mehmet and Hansen were right there on the front line waiting for the spike, waiting for the block. Smart play there by Charlton to get it over. The Spanish Fork student section screaming now. We'll see Mansfield back to serve again. Dug out by Call. Trenery into the net. And this set goes to Spanish Fork. And we're going five. 27-25 win in set four. We'll be, we'll be back after this break with set five coming to you. Set five here on Spanish Fork 17. We have a great one here between the Dons and the Golden Eagles. Great survival last stand by, by Spanish Fork to somehow pull out the fourth set just a few moments ago. You know, they win extras. They went up winning 26-24 big time. 27-25, I should say, big time play there by Spanish Fork. If you miss it, a key and clutch ace from Kelsey Topham allowed Spanish Fork and the Dons a one-point lead that they ultimately ended up winning with. Looks like a little misunderstanding and confusion, ultimately, from Maple Mountain and the Golden Eagles, which cost them. Some errors cost them. And yeah, we'll play five. and they, they've compounded and they've, they've really grown. You can see the frustration with Amanda Peterson, who is just sitting there, you know, with her hands in her face, obviously frustrated by the amount of mistakes that they've been making throughout the game. Uh, Trenery missed one there in the back corner. Just let it go by her, and I think that was the final killer in the momentum. That got Spanish Fork, and when you give a team like that a fifth set, you know, anything's possible here. Of course, in the fifth set, we remind you, they play 15, Instead of 25, they play the first one to 15. So it will be a quick and exciting set here, we hope. And we're glad that you're here with us on Spanish Fork 17 to watch it. It'll be uh, Melanie Ro or Malini Robarge to serve. Again, the powerful left-handers had herself an excellent game for the Dons. In stack close to the Eagles. First point on the way. Service is in. Setting it up is Bailey. Over to Ioane. Gets the point. Goes down. Who else? Who else but Jaysha Ioane? She's been everywhere this game. It starts the fifth set with a kill. Bailey, the reliable server for the Eagles, sends it. Topham picks it up. Pedoza. Over to Bailey. Great sight there and a kill. 1-1 one, one apiece. Emery Cardoza got in in her first action the last set, and she's stayed in. She hasn't played much in the first three at all, and has really impressed her coach, and she gets the honors of playing this fifth set. Exactly. Benson, by the way, on the play there, not Bailey. Nevertheless, a great kill. In comes Charlton. Over to Bailey. Iwane didn't get enough mustard on it, and it falls back. Would have been a smart tip over there. Nobody home, unfortunately, just doesn't get her hand enough on it. Falls right back on her side of the net. 2-1 Dons. In front of the fans, Charlton serves it. Jet Li Iwane to Bailey, to Jaysha. Picked up there, Cadoza sets it up. It's Benson, hits it over the back line. Jet Li knocks it over into the net. It Looks right like that one was wall. going out. Yeah, exactly. It was chest high and Iwane just hit it. Rookie mistake there from the freshman. 3-1 lead now for Spanish Fork. Charlton with round two. Soft serve there. Swindlehurst picks it up. The Lobero over to Trenery. Powerful spike. On her A game in the terms of the kill business. Racking him up here as it's 2-3. She has quite the powerful kill. I would not want that one coming at me. 3-2 now. Spanish Fork still leading. Ioane to serve. In it comes with the right-hander. Powerfully in there. Picked up by Benson. Over to Cadoza. Benson again. Soft tip there. Picked up by Bailey. Swindlehurst. Over to Trenery. Powerful hit there. Cadoza again. Benson. 
Back and forth we go, it's not enough. Saved there by Mehmet, just goes out of play. Dawn's up four to two. Cadoza, who's been an excellent fill-in so far off the bench, will take a break. In comes Lavinia Ikatao in the serve. Bailey, Mehmet, off Ikatao and out of play. Ikatao understanding that's her ball, tapping her chest saying that's my bad. That's a ball she's probably normally has to handle. Gives uh, Maple Mountain and the Golden Eagles a point there, 4-3 now. Yeah, Ikatao has struggled in this one so far in terms of fielding it cleanly. Mehmet in to Benson, over to Ikatao. That one was not set up cleanly, but they get it over. That one, another hard hit off the netting. Well hit played. by Turnery and sailed over. Well played by Bailey, but Turnery could not bail it out. Hits it over. Couple of mistakes here, costing a couple of points for each team respectively. 5-3 now, Benson will serve for the Dons. This would be a huge win. We've emphasized it throughout the game. And Benson gets a well-timed ace. 6-3, three, three-point lead in set five is huge. That's a mountain to climb now for Maple Mountain. Of course, it's a Maple Mountain team that was favored to win in this one, especially at home. All the upperclassmen here are trying to fight to stay in it, and Trenery shows them with a powerful spike. Notable absence in this set is uh, is Kaylee Monahan? We haven't seen her yet. Of course, she struggled a little bit in the end of set four. Doesn't look like she's going to play much right now. Got pulled out with the miss hit there in set four. It kind of was one of the many errors that cost them that set. Still hasn't seen action yet. Tough hit there by Topham. Keeps in play. Ikatao bumps it over. Set up by Iwane to Bailey. Hit at by Jet Lee. Save there. Topham gets it from out of bounds. Hit by Ikatao. A little bit of miscommunication there. Bailey to Jaysha, again set up. Benson hitting it over is Reed. Iwane, powerful right hand there. Swindlehurst goes to recover. Again, it's Iwane, but she mishits it. She tried to go with the right hand, the power stroke, but hits it right into the net. Again, a three-point lead for Spanish Fork. All the Spanish Fork students on the right side of the, the gym just excited and on their feet. Maple Mountain a little bit nervous. The numbers dwindled a bit in the student section. Swindlehurst to save it. Jet Iwane over to Ikatao. To Mwane and it's a point. It was a deflection and they get the point. It looked like it was over and Peterson has got to call timeout here. Four to eight the score and again We'd like to thank our sponsors here quickly, the car guys at Blue Diamond Auto Group, Lance Wilson, State Farm, MVP Sports, Triple T, Heating, Cooling, and Plumbing, Two Jacks Pizza, the Attorneys of Law, Mikkel Thompson and Hunter, and the Driggs Mortgage Team. 4-8 the score here in the fifth set. Quick timeouts, quick thoughts. What do you think Coach Peterson is telling her players right now? they got to limit the errors. This, this set's looked a little off with error-wise for Maple Mountain and the Golden Eagles. Just gotta play smart. They've hit a lot of balls into the net. Maybe take a little power off and just get it over. And likewise for Spanish Fork here, Coach Benson is just gathering with her players quickly. You have to assume that she's happy with how her team has played. A team composed of a lot of sophomores, a lot of juniors. They've held their own here with Maple Mountain be a huge upset, so to speak. Even though Spanish Fork is two and one in region, they're two and eight overall. This would be a huge win, proving that they're here to play in this region. And a major upset as well. Maple Mountain number three in 5A, as we mentioned at the top. That one falling to the back line, though. Lucky break there by Maple Mountain. All the girls up from Maple Mountain on their bench. They know the importance of that service error. We'll see Jet Lee now back to serve. Down three here. They need to make a run. Jet Lee hits it in, picked up. Hit at by Robards, recovered at by Evo Swindlehurst, and it was Rothog. That one hit at by Iwane, and it deflects off of Robards and out of play. Iwane has kind of won that matchup over the course of the game. 
She wants it. She seems like the type of player who wants the ball in her hands in this opportunity to get these points. Jetli Iwane again to serve. Good serve there. Picked up by Benson over to Iketau. Tipped up by Charlton. Nobody home on the right side. Iwane, number 35, misplayed that. They jumped too early, which gave Spanish Fork the opportunity to tip it in. All right, Maple Mountain trailing six to nine here. In comes Cadoza again. Big time glue player Iketau comes out. It'll be Mansfield to serve. Picked up by Rothog. Over to Bailey, over to Iwane. Right in the right line. That one was on a rope. Her attitude is gonna carry Maple Mountain if for it to come back win if they're gonna do it. Understanding she made a key error last time, comes right back with the ball in her hands. That was hard. Swindlehurst to serve. Powerful one coming in. Topham picks it up. It'll be Cadoza over to Bailey. Benson picked up by Bailey for Maple Mountain. Tipped up by Iwane, another point. Now it's eight to nine. Back to back points from Jaysha Iwane. And Valerie Benson now will take a timeout for Spanish Fork. One timeout apiece for both, and we'll take a quick break as well. 8 9 the score. Maple Mountain trailing by one to Spanish Fork in the fifth set here on Spanish Fork 17. Nine eight the score, Spanish Fork leading. Swindlehurst to serve though for Maple Mountain. They'll try and tie it. Cadoza, quick one-handed tip. What a play there, Iwane couldn't get it. Looks like she just jumped a tad early. Would have had a great corner opportunity there, but just jumped too early, couldn't handle it. 10-8 now, Spanish Fork leading. Cardoza's been an excellent player for Spanish Fork. In with the left-hander is Robarge. This one, Mehmet jumps, Iwane rejected! Charlton, Cardoza on the play there. Attempted to go for the tip over rather than the hard kill. Looks like that might have been a slight mistake. Charlton stuffing up the stat sheet, so is Cardoza. Charlton again with another point. 12 to eight now, and Spanish Fork is inching closer. Three more points to go. Molina Robars back to serve again. All the momentum is with Spanish Fork and the Dons. Maple Mountain cannot believe it. The fans here are just in shock. Golden Eagles expected to win this one. Iwane tips it. Diving at it is Robars. Over to Charlton. Saved by Benson. Hit over by Iwane, that one flows to the back line. Saved by, Car by uh, Robars, that one hit at. Saved again by Maple Mountain. Iwane, dives that by Topham. What a right-handed save. Bumped over by Charlton. It'll be gently Iwane there. Over to Bailey, Jaysha with the two-handed play. Back and forth we go. Again, Charlton, one-handed tip. Saved that by Bailey, over to Swindlehurst. Rejected at the line. Three straight critical plays there by Kennedy Charlton. It seems like Maple Mountain is just going to keep going to Jaysha Ayoane. She's been favoring the tip attempted kill rather than the right-handed strong serve. That one cost her. 13 to 8. In comes Robars with the serve. Rothog rejected again by Charlton. Bailey again by Charlton. Third play, Ayoane deflected off the back. Robars to Topham. They have to bump it over. Swindlehurst will set it up. Over to Bailey. Iwane, too far. Spanish Fork is one point away from pulling it off. Match point. Molina Robars still serving. And, and Maple Mountain will take a timeout. Peterson will take the timeout. What a game here. Spanish Fork down two sets to one. If they can manage to get this final point here in the fifth set, we'll pull off an improbable comeback win here over the Maple Mountain Golden Eagles. It looked like it was over in set four. Maple Mountain up by about three points and looked like they had all the momentum. Costly errors and a great ace from Spanish Fork led them right back in and they have owned set five. It's oh, been all Dons. You can tell right now by the, uh, by the faces and the attitude of these Dons players, they know they're enjoying this moment right now. They know they're so close to beating one of the favorites here in League Eight. And if you're Maple Mountain, you have to be just sensing the frustration here of knowing that you had this one. 
and at home as well to lose to a crosstown rival. It's not over yet here though. They still have to get this final point, 14 to eight. Set point, match point here. In comes the serve from Robard. Swindlehurst almost hits it out of play and it goes out. And Spanish Fork has done it. Fifth Im set win, 15 to eight over Maple Mountain. Improbable upset, Spanish Fork beating the 10th ranked team in the state, improves to three and one in region play. Number 10 in state, number three in 5A, goes down at home to Spanish Fork, and we'll be back to re recap and react. Big win by Spanish Fork, and we'll be back after the break. Back here on Spanish Fork, 17. It is a final here at Maple Mountain. Spanish Fork dons complete the upset over number three, Maple Mountain in five sets here with the final set, 15 to 10. Major win for the Dons, isn't it? What a game, what a performance, what a comeback, what an upset. Overall, Spanish Fork owned that fifth set. They deserved and earned the win tonight. What a win for a young group and a confidence booster for sure. Amanda Peterson still talking with her team, you know, after the game in the huddle. You could tell how visibly frustrated she was. The airs piled up, we mentioned it. Errors are going to cost them come playoff time, and it cost them tonight in the conference game at home. Lots of service errors. They have to clean that up. This is still a good, talented, deep team, but they have to clean up their errors if they want to go deep into the playoffs. Of course, the fans here are still trying to react. Spanish Fork is all over in the corner of the court. Maple Mountain fans just going home silently in shock that they lost this one. Of course, uh, Spanish Fork had a lot of contributions. We can only give one MVP of the game. Of course, our MVP brought to you by MVP Sports. And that would be, I think, number 10, Kennedy Charlton, who was just an excellent player throughout. That's exactly who I was going to say. She dominated with the blocks on the front line, had a couple aces, and overall was the MVP of the game, really led her team to victory. Yeah, especially in that fifth set, had three major blocks, one after the other, and just an amazing play on the front line. You could point you know, the credit to a lot of players on this team. You know, you look at Robars, who's week in and week out is a great player, but then you get these surprises like Emery Cadoza, who come in and patch for a set or two and provide excellent play. What a recovery, though, by the Dons. And with the win, you know, they go to 3-1 and one in league play, go to 3-8, and eight, help improve that record a little bit, and this is a huge resume win. Yeah, they were tied for second in region coming in. They're going to at least stay there, depending on other matchups. This was probably their biggest win of the season beating a, a team that expected and still expects to challenge for the playoffs. This was a huge win for the Dons of Spanish Fork. Yeah, on the other end, tough loss by Maple Mountain here as they drop this one. They'll go to two and two in conference play and nine and three overall. Well, that'll do it for us here in the final score. Again, a shocker, Spanish Fork takes on and defeats Maple Mountain in five sets here. And for Jake, or uh, for uh, I should say Caleb Lemming, I am Jake R. Scott. And uh, we thank you as always for joining us and have a good rest of your night.